Hi, it's Mr. Crane here. Uh, so I'm making a different type of video today, and I'm going to try to make sure I can fit it on this screen that's behind me. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so <sighs> virtual students, my face-to-face -face students have been working on a geologic time scale cup stack review for the past two weeks since we started ACT Aspire strategies. Um, this was something that we did after the fact, after they finished their strategies, then we worked on this. So if you can see it, you can also open up the image that's in this assignment below um, this video. But these cups, there's 22 of them. Each one of them has a different geologic time period and era associated with the geologic time scale. Now this goes back to 4.6 billion years ago all the way to present day. So I'm going to show you a little way that um, it was taught to me and I'm going to teach it to you. If you learn it this way you should be able to easily remember it but you're going to take some practice. So I want you to practice it every single day but you're going to need something. You're going to need 22 cups. 22 cups like this. You can get Dixie cups, you can get regular cups, little tiny coffee cups, whatever you want to do. Uh, just something you can stack. It could even be little tiny um, plastic portion cups. Um, so if you're a virtual student and you don't, don't want to take part in this, then I can't exempt it from you if you don't have the material. You're more than welcome to come up to school and I'll give you a stack of cups as long as you return them to me. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to teach you how to do this really quick. So this little saying that I'm going to write down is the easiest way to do this. So, can Orville see down my pants pocket? Tom Jones can. Tom's quiet. So, hopefully you can see that. So, can Orville see down my pants pocket Tom Jones can Tom's quiet now, I know that doesn't mean make any sense but it's not supposed to make sense it's supposed to be a way to remember it a mnemonic device to help you remember this so this actually stands for something it stands for the periods that are within the geologic time scale so starting with the oldest all the way to the current so it's Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Mississippi, Mississippian, Pennsylvania, Permian, Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous, Tertiary, Quaternary. All of these mean something according to the geologic time scale. Now, this is an easy way that I remember how to categorize them. So there's seven of these inside the Paleozoic time, three of them in the Mesozoic, and two of them in the Cenozoic. I know I just said a whole bunch of words that don't mean anything. But they're part of the geologic time scale. So how do I figure out what they are? So an easy way for you to do it is to remember your, one of your favorite dinosaur movies. Think about one of your favorite dinosaur movies that comes to, comes to mind is Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, the Jones, is my J. And it is in the middle of... The T and the C, the, the Tom and the Can, or the Triassic and the Cretaceous. When I put that there, that's in the middle. Jones is in the middle of the two. Well, this time frame is called the Mesozoic. And what Mesozoic means, I'm supposed to be a C. Mesozoic means <clears throat> middle, and then Zoic means life. So middle life. And it's in the middle. Right? So that's three. When I do this, when I break this into this way, I break this into here, I find Jurassic Park, I take the two on either side of it, put a bracket around it, and that's the Mesozoic time frame. That Mesozoic time frame, and that, that went from about <coughs> 255 million years ago all the way to 65 million years ago. Um, but this breaks apart my other two. So I have two right here, and I have seven right here. So Mesozoic starts right there. Mesozoic starts right there. This is my Paleozoic. Paleozoic stands for ancient. 
life. And that actually starts right here. So that stands for ancient life. So I'll put a parenthesis around that. Put a parenthesis around that. And then that leaves my final two up here. That final two is in the Cenozoic. And Ceno means recent and life. All right, and that starts right there. So the time has to, uh, the time change has to occur before, before the period, before the period change. So we're, uh, now we have that group, that group, and that group. All right. Now this one right here, um, before Cambrian was the Precambrian, and that makes sense because it's before Cambrian. And that makes up 88% of the entire geologic time scale. So we're talking about 4.6 billion years ago. 4.6 billion years ago, all the way to about 544 million years ago. Million years ago. All right. And then this Paleozoic time frame or period, this is, I'm sorry, Paleozoic era, it lasted until about 240 four million years ago. And that's a that's an estimate. It could be you look at any different textbook and it'll give you a different number. It could be two hundred and forty five. So two hundred and forty four million years ago, all the way until the asteroid, the second asteroid hit and killed all the dinosaurs. And that's sixty five million years ago, all the way to the present. Alright, that's the present time. Now we have some other creatures that are in here. So if we counted these up, seven here, three here, that's 10, another 12. That's only 12 of my cups. I still have another few to go. So Precambrian time is when our, right around the time our cyanobacteria started. And cyanobacteria, cyano is blue-green in color. And it's actually Spanish for blue-green, cyano. Um, cyanobacteria was our first single cell organism. And then eventually, somewhere around the same time frame, and it can be, depending on who you talk to, what scientists you talk to, then we have the evolution of multicellular. So in this area right here, we had the evolution of multi, somebody's trying to come in, cellular. Okay, evolution of multicellular type. Okay. So evolution of multicellular, sorry, somebody's trying to come in the door. We have evolution of multicellular organisms. That makes sense. You had two single cell organisms. Instead of ingesting themselves, they became symbiotic and they developed a cell wall and a cell membrane and became the first multicellular organism. Of course we have our exoskeleton type of animals that started to develop here. And then we had some major change in geologic time, either geologic climate um, or geologic event, maybe a, 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 an animal change, some sort of creature change, which happened around the, the uh, change from the Mesozoic, that's where the age of the dinosaurs were. So what I've done on this is I've chosen three dinosaurs that were dominant in that time frame. And an easy way to remember it is ABC. So you have your ABCs you see up here. So ABC, A is first. So I picked the dinosaur that was in the A. So the Arizonosaurus. If you look up the Arizonosaurus, it looks like a... It looks like a um, Spinosaurus. You saw that probably in Jurassic Park. It was pretty dominant in Jurassic Park 2, I think it was. And so we have the Spinosaurus or the Arizonosaurus. And then we have our B dinosaur, everybody's favorite Brachiosaurus. And then we have our C dinosaur, but it's not a C, it's a P, the a ABP dinosaur. And that's our Pteranodon or our pterodactyl. Okay, so that's an easy way. ABC, Jurassic is the A, the Brachiosaurus is the B, and that goes after the time frame. Each one of these go after the time frame. 
So A, B, P. And then we have human life. Human life up here. Evolution of human life. Where we are currently in the present. So we count these as 12, 13, 14, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I said 22 a while ago. Am I missing something? Let me see if I'm missing anything. Ternary, human life, AVP. So I may have to change that to, oh, nope, no, 22 with the pre Cambrian. So we have pre Cambrian. So 22 total. So easy way to remember this Can Orville see down my pants pocket? Tom Jones can. Tom's quiet. Locate the J, Jurassic Park. Think about that. That's in the middle between these two. Bracket that off. That's the Mesozoic. Stands for middle life. That also brackets off your other two on either side of it. The seven that goes down here are in the Paleozoic or ancient life. The top two are in the Cenozoic, which is recent. The one that's closest to us is recent, recent life. And then we have at the right after Precambrian, before Cambrian is a cyanobacteria, single cell organism. Eventually evolved into a multicellular organism. Up here in the Triassic, Jurassic, Cretaceous within the Mesozoic is Arizonosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Pterodactyl, A, B, P. So hopefully that's an easy way for you to memorize this. And hopefully that was helpful. Study this all week and submit on Thursday or Friday.